season for th <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Pepper Geek. Today we're going to talk about growing peppers indoors in an apartment or a small space. You definitely don't need a huge yard or a huge outdoor garden to enjoy all the benefits of growing peppers. Before we moved into our house, we started 60 varieties of peppers in our apartment. Today I'm going to go over some tips and tricks for growing peppers in a small space or an apartment if you don't have a yard. So the first tip is to be creative with closet space. In our last apartment, we started seeds in our closet space and affixed the grow lights to the top of the closet. Usually there's a way to hang grow lights from the top, so it makes it pretty convenient. And it's really nice that closets are typically out of the way. However, ventilation is very important, so you will need to keep the door open. It's important to remember that if you're growing your peppers strictly indoors and you're not gonna be bringing them outside, that you will need to hand pollinate them. Without natural pollinators or wind blowing around, fewer of the flowers will become fertilized. So it's important to just hand pollinate them. You can give them a simple shake or go in there with a paintbrush and pollinate them by hand. Blowing a fan on them can also help release the pollen if you're growing them indoors. And another quick tip for this is to use square pots instead of circular pots. That way you can fit more plants in the small space. We used three and a half inch pots and we were able to fit 18 plants into the standard seed tray. Another tip for growing in small spaces is just to grow in smaller pots. So this is a perfect example. We have six of these plants growing in six different small containers, and we are not going to upsize this plant. We're just going to let them fruit. And it's a great way to experiment with different varieties as well, because you can grow more varieties just in smaller pots. Keep in mind that by doing this, you will have smaller plants, which results in a smaller harvest, but you need to weigh the pros and cons, and it's a great way to keep your indoor grow exciting if you're growing in a small space. The next tip is to utilize a hydroponic growing system. So we've tried both the Aero Garden and the Click and Grow to grow peppers in, and we had some pretty great results. You don't have to deal with any messy soil and the plants grow faster and it's a really unique compact design that you can start seeds in or even grow out full pepper plants. There are more complex hydroponic systems that you can utilize, but we like the simplicity of the all-in-one system. You can also start your pepper plants in the hydroponic system and then transplant them after they've grown big enough to pots and soil and bring them outside. We have some peppers growing now in our click and grow system and they're already producing pods and we'll have a video on that coming soon. The next tip for growing peppers in an apartment is to utilize porches and balconies. The balcony at our old apartment definitely did not receive full sun. It was east facing, but it got really good morning sun. Our peppers did just fine growing in containers on our balcony and it's definitely worth giving it a shot even if you don't get full sun directly on that area of your apartment. South facing, of course, would be ideal, but if you have a balcony, it's definitely worth experimenting and trying to grow some peppers in containers. If you don't have much square footage on your balcony, you can definitely get crafty and utilize hanging plants or railing containers or even just putting them up on shelves. It's a good idea to rotate your plants regularly to make sure that they're all getting even amounts of sunlight. We had a plant growing on our balcony that we didn't rotate and it ended up leaning over, reaching for sun, taking on a really strange shape. The next tip if you live in an apartment or small space and you really want to get into gardening or growing peppers is to check with your town to see if you could rent a garden plot. We rented garden plots in two separate towns when we were living in an apartment. The price varies by town, but in our experience, it's been very affordable. We were able to rent a 50 by 50 garden plot and it only cost $35 for the entire season. You can check with your town or nearby towns to see if there's a place you can rent a garden plot and do in-ground gardening. This is also a great way to meet other fellow gardeners and get involved with your community. However, be sure to sign up early in the season because these garden plots definitely tend to sell out fast. Our next tip is to grow pepper varieties that produce more pods and are smaller in size. So for example, you'll have better luck with a Thai chili where you'll get several handfuls of pods over the season as opposed to if you were growing a bell pepper inside, you would only get a few. Growing these varieties is a lot more rewarding because you're getting more peppers and it's making the most of the small space that you have. We'll leave some examples in the description below of varieties that work really well for growing in a small space. Another tip is to utilize a grow tent. These are definitely an eyesore and they do take up a lot of room, so you would need a spot to put it. Grow tents are a great solution if you need to keep the light contained because you can zip them shut. And they're also great for keeping out pets because you can zip them shut 
However, they do require a lot more equipment to keep proper airflow and ventilation and maintain that perfect environment for your peppers to grow. So unless you absolutely need it, I wouldn't necessarily recommend going this route. If you have experience growing peppers in an apartment or even just starting seeds, let us know how you took advantage of all the space that you have, if you have any additional tips to help fellow pepper growers out. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time. 50 by 50 garden plot for only $20. It was 35. <laughs> we rented a 1,000 <laughs> acre garden plot. So we were able to get a 50 by 50 plot for the entire season for 30 <laughs> Yeah, I need a break. <laughs>